we are, we're back up at beautiful Lake Mondrian. Up here about a month ago with Dad, caught a few nice fish, had a, had a good time as always. And yeah, hopefully uh, on this, this trip up, we might get stuck into a few, few nice fish of the night time. Fingers crossed. And I've brought along the nephew, Jakey Webb. He's come up to hopefully get stuck into a few of these fish. He hasn't caught a bar as of yet. So he's pretty excited to, to get into a couple. And yeah, we might uh, get around the dam and try a few different techniques on this particular trip. Yeah, one in, one in particular I haven't really tried too much of in the last few trips on the dam is fishing hard bodies. Used to do a lot of it when I first started coming up here. And yeah, I was... Uh, Checking out a few lures the other day, and this one, this one caught me eye. That's a little uh, jollop twitch 105D. Joey Urquhart down on the far north coast of New South Wales makes these. They're a deadly little lure. They're actually quite buoyant, so they're perfect if you're um, fishing over rock bars, twitching over snags, and you want them to, to back up over that structure. But in the impoundment here, I actually want that lure to suspend in the water and stay sort of right in the fish's face. Um, so all I did is uh, a couple of little sticky weights on the bottom there. Yep. Yeah, got that lure suspended nice. And then uh, these lures, they do come with uh, VMC four times hooks. I'm a massive fan of the BKK Vipers, so I've just swapped them out. Kept the original rings. And yeah, just whacked on a uh, size one on the front, size two on the back. So yeah, hopefully we can uh, get this new Edge EFX Pro Rod bent. Pretty keen to get, get get this rod in the water and give it give it a real good crack and a test out on these barra. Yeah, it's a 12 to 20 pound, six foot nine, so still not too long, not too short. You can sort of still manipulate that lure really well with it. Another little lure that we're going to give a good crack with as well is the Delalande Neo. They're 130 mil bait that Fishtex just uh, started to bring into the country. Got me hands on one before I come up here, so I'm pretty keen to give her a whirl. And yeah, she's got a nice sort of fat body profile, sort of very flat along the top there as well. And it's also got this rib design along each side of the lure. And I can imagine when you're pulling that lure through the water, it's going to create a whole heap of commotion, vibration, and hopefully get these fish really keen. So yeah, it's one to check out, see how we go. Anyway, stick around and we might get stuck into a few barra, hopefully. What do you reckon, Jakey? We'll get amongst today? We'll get a few. Alrighty, mate, let's get into her. <laughs> on the jollop twitch. Nice. Add it on the pause. Looks not too bad of a fish actually. <laughs> How good. That new buddy EFX Pro Rod's not bad, eh, for that jerk bait, jerk bait bite. He's not a bad fish. No monster, but hey, nice man. How yeah, good? Hell yeah! You gotta be happy with that, eh? Hey? That's that's not bad. Good fish. Not bad. High five on that one, brother. Good stuff. That's all right, eh? He jammed it on the paws. There we go, on the Jollop 105 Twitch. Beautiful fish. 696. Beautiful little stick. First fish on it. 
did well. Very nice. He's not a bad one. Chunky little number. Happy with that, eh? Sensational, mate. He'd have to be up around, yeah, 80 something. Some good fish, check him out there. Gorgeous looking fish, the old barramundis. Very good. I'll get a measure on him. Not bad, not bad. What have we got there, mate? There we go, a nice 86 centimetre on the hard body. Not bad at all. Be happy with that, eh? Right, yeah, we're going to get this nice 86 back in the water. Just come off a bit of timber in the back of that bay there. On a jolt twitch. Lovely. Then get stuck into a few fish this trip. It's been good. Pull the nephew Jakey up. See if we can get him onto a couple of nice fish. He got a couple of nice fish last night. Yeah, after we get stuck into a few more. Beautiful looking eye on the barramundi, isn't it? That is Calcarafa. Aussie barramundi. Come on, buddy. It's time to go. Hey, there we go. Cool stuff. All right, let's get back in there, mate. Let's see if we can get another one, eh? Alrighty, we're just uh, up the top of the dam here, just having a break in between bites. And I uh, thought I'd give you a, a little bit of a rundown on how I like to rig up a six inch hollow belly. I'm just running a 8 3 8 hook there, TT, headlocks. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get that hook to slide up inside this hollow belly. So I'm gonna make a little incision in the back. I've already got one there. Only about five, five, eight mil long. And also one in the head where I want the eyelet of the hook to come out. And all we're gonna do, we're gonna feed that up the back of the hollow belly inside it like that oh the hook's gonna pop out and there we go so that's pretty well like a hollow belly slick rig it works deadly for me gives the uh, head of the hollow belly there fattens it up gives it a nice good wobble through the water on the retrieve and yeah you got plenty of hook exposure there too so yeah it works for me give it a go hope it'll work for you A little bit hungry there, mate, were you? Just a touch. Here we go. Ooh. Nice 99, just took me all through the timber. Got back on top of him, but got him in the boat. Beauty. Let's go. Yeah. See you later, Mr. Barr. Check that out. Big bait from this power hook in. Cool. Come here, mate. That is slippery. That is a big bony. It's going to bar up your feet, not like uh, upsize the lure, I think. <laughs> ah, the old nighttime barra bite. Young Jake here just caught that one. Not bad, mate, eh? I'm stoked. Yeah, bloody hell. Boys are whacking them. Gotta love a nighttime barabite. You little ripper. One of them larger barramundi I got last night come scooting towards the back of the boat in the air and crashed into my Honda motor. Had the lure down real nice and deep, so he didn't do that damage with the trebles, but he just took a dead set gouge out of my cowling cover. Far out.
nice and healthy, eh? Isn't it? Yep, got him. Oh, shit, that thing nailed that. I dropped him. Oh, I dropped it. That was a big fella. No. Oh, fuck. See that thing smash it? Holy. Holy crap, I was waiting for that. Coming into that bite time too. Just hope we're fishing the right spot. Because when I come, ooh, what'd you have? When I come down in that channel there, it was a little bit deep and I didn't really see any fish. Yeah. And as soon as I come out and came around there. Yep, go. Yeah, nice, big fish, big fish. Good stuff, Jakey boy. Oh, good fish. Hell yeah. You're all right. Just take your time with it, mate. Don't panic. Oh, fuck. No, you still got him. He's just changed direction, mate. Yeah, you're all right. Just take your time, mate. I reckon that's your meter fish there. What was that on that Imakatsu, was it? Nice mate, nice going. Oh, look at that. That thing's giving you a bloody a bit of a towel and bruv. Just take your time mate, I reckon that's your metery. that angle back on him a bit. Might have to come up here bro. Get that line tight. Yep. yep, just keep away from that boat if you can. Go around the electric outside. Yep. Oh no, let's line go slack. Let's line go slack. We're on rod rod's broke. Holy shit we've got, got a drama here. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Oh no. Good baby wait. Yep. Still got oh, it. Just, just snapped another rod. That fish fed you under that bloody electric motor, mate. Shit. Just take your time. Against your metery. Not having the best trip. Popping two rods. <laughs> Poor bugger. Like we've got a few on the boat, mate. Just, just working back to you, mate. Look. <laughs> <laughs> with the oh, bloody half a rod. Yeah, put the herd on him when he comes to the boat, yeah. Probably can't snap a rod now, can I? Well, I don't know, you might snap that again, you never know. We're in all sorts here. The joys of barra fishing. Oh, that's a big fella. Yeah, brother! Hey! Two for the wall anyway. Yeah, boy! That's a good fish. What did you reckon about that, mate? Hey? Love it. Good Coming stuff. Back for sure. Well, I reckon that could be very close to your meter fish. Pop the rod. All right. We'll get him in the boat. Oh, he's a good fish, mate. You've done well, bros. You've done well. Good on ya. What a tank, hey? Good stuff. Look at that. Oh, you said you wanted to upgrade from your um the old 87. Yeah, your 87. Get him out. Have a bit of a look here. Oh no. That, yeah, it should be hot, mate. Wet her up. I reckon you got your meter fish here, mate. That's on the old Imakatsu back rat swimmer. Jeez, it's a good little lure that thing. 98. 98? Oh, two centimeters off, man, eh? Close but no cigar, but you did well. Snapped your rod <laughs> in all sorts, eh? <laughs> electric motor. Yeah, on the electric. Snapped the rod the other night on a big barra. Give us a look at him, bros. Yeah, nice. How good is that? Good stuff, mate. That's unreal. All right, we'll get a still shot and get him back in, eh?
Right, eh? we'll get him back in the water, mate. What a fish. He, he gave you a good fight, that one, didn't it? Real good fight. Owes you a rod, that barra. It's oh, alright. Guys. Hell yeah man. High five brother. 